All right, people, dick writers and others who are out here just for a quick laugh. I feel like I didn't do justice to my channel with the last video. So I'm here to kind of clarify my points and actually defend myself. Maybe make more sense to those guys who possibly didn't understand exactly what I was saying. In other words, dick writers, prepare to delete your comments because you're about to look really stupid. Hey, what's up guys and potential naysayers, it's Neraku back at it again with a video that I'm hoping you all actually take the time to listen to. If you're new here, consider subscribing as I have new opinions on all types of things and you can debate me in the comment section if you like. Also, shout out to my boy Danny. His channel will be linked in the description below. He was here when um, I had about 40 subscribers and um, he had well wishes for my channel and I have been growing. So thanks, bruv, and uh, good luck to you too, man. So without any more delays, let's go ahead and talk about exactly why we're here today. I've officially passed 1,000 views on my POG channel. It's sitting about 1,300 views right now, and it has an insane dislike ratio, which technically is a milestone for my channel, and I owe it to every single one of you guys for watching that video. Even the POG dick riding haters out there, thank you guys so much for the views. I couldn't have done it without you. Really, I couldn't have. Now, if you don't know too much about the situation, I'm also putting the link to the original video, which I set out to debunk, as well as a link to my debunking video down in the description below. Now, it's not my intention to draw views to the POG video, but you kind of have to watch it in order to see exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, um, what I want to do today is take a deeper look into that video and uh, POG's ugly face and, uh, and address the few arguments that the commenters have for me. And I admit, um, my first exposed video or debunk video was a little bit on the poor side. I made some mistakes. Now that it's been almost a month or so later, we can kind of retouch on this topic and kind of see where it all went wrong. I also want to go ahead and apologize to anyone in advance who wanted to see something new. And I promise that we'll have some more incredible content coming your way very, very soon. So with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. My mistakes. First off, POG resides in Belgium. I don't know if he is from Belgium, but I know he resides in Belgium. And um, yes, that is actually obvious now, as I know a little bit more about European license plates and how registration is done. And that was my bad, guys. I'm so sorry about that. I was ignorant to the way that the license plate designs were done, but I did assume that he was from French based on two factors, like the side of the road he drives on and the language he writes and speaks in on his Instagram account. So I am very, very sorry about that. That was my mistake. Hopefully that clears it up. And uh, thanks to the comments that I did get that really tried to educate me on the factor and the fact that he was from Belgium, um, I'm thankful for. And I'm not ashamed to admit when I was wrong. So POG resides in Belgium. He may not be from Belgium, but he resides in Belgium. McLaren is spelled McLaren. Yes. Okay. Again, a mindless mistake. I'm sorry, guys. You must forgive me for this one as my video editor does not include a spell check. There is no excuse for this. I'm sorry. I don't spell McLaren every day. Also, I want to touch on the cars that he owns. This was a mistake that I wasn't called out for because no one else bothers to do the research, but I went again and went in there and tried to make sure that I was giving you guys the right information. So I want to take a deeper look at the car he owns or the cars I want to take a deeper look at the cars he owns so that, that way you guys have the proper information. Obviously, he does own the Lamborghini Aventador. He owns a, not a Le Ferrari, he owns a Ferrari 458 Special Aparta. He, that's the one he owns. Then he also owns a McLaren 675 LT. I don't want to go into how much those cars cost. You guys can go ahead and Google that. But I just want to go ahead and make sure you guys know that those are the three cars he owns when he says a Lambo, a Ferrari, and a McLaren. So, okay, so those are the mistakes that I found right away that I made. Um, I'm pretty sure if you guys look at the video again, you might find some more. Um, but I am so sorry about that. I'm sorry about the misinformation. I want you to make sure you guys now have the proper information. Let's go ahead and take a deep dive into some of the comments from the actual video because that is really the whole reason why I'm here today guys I want to address some of these comments because I feel like um, there's some people out there who I didn't get a chance to properly address and I also feel like there's some people out there who feel like they got the better end of me or the the uh, they got ahead on me because they think that maybe they said some things that I didn't respond to so just because of that let's go ahead and get into some of the comments okay from Wenson He's from Belgium. Yes, I know he's from Belgium. Thank you. However, this kind of really concerns me in the sense that this somehow makes the rest of my points invalid about the car and the entire video being fake. Does it? No, it doesn't. All right. So we have one here from Christian. Um, you guys can't see his comments in the video because Christian deleted his comments. Christian, he said something like this. 
obviously from Belgium. License plate says B in red. We've been over this several times, Chris, and might I add, and I really do appreciate you trying to give me better information about where he's from. I do appreciate that. However, before you post a comment, especially with a video with this few comments on it, just take a quick look, guys. Take a quick look at the comments and see if someone has said the exact same thing. But just look at the same comment, upvote that comment instead, okay? That's what the upvote system is for. Also, I'll go ahead and say this again. Does this somehow detract or dismiss my other points on how the video was fake? It does not. Yes, he's from Belgium. Are Belgian people somehow 100% always honest? Because you're from Belgium, you, I don't know, make really good waffles and can't lie? That's not the case here. I mean, if you're going to be a dick in my comment section about how I'm wrong, don't transition into a pussy when I answer you in the comment section and then delete your comments, Christian. Leave your comments there. He made another response to this after I said that, and I can't necessarily find that comment, but he did say something around the lines of, yes, it does. It takes away from your credibility and it makes it hard to believe your points that you're trying to make. Well, I have something to say about that, Christian. I understand what you're saying, and I never exactly profess to be an expert in Euro residency or license plates or registration. Please excuse my ignorance. However, I don't see how this detracts away from the points that I made. If a history professor in college makes a mistake on a math equation, does this somehow dismiss him as an expert in history? No, not at all. So, me and Christian went back in the comment sections, back and forth for a while, and he did admit to me eventually, he said that the video is, is legit. He says, no, it's 100% fake. Perhaps to make a viral video for gullible people, perhaps as a marketing stunt for Forza, or per perhaps for to promote POG. I think you could have made your points succinctly without dragging it on so long, and I do agree. My videos have been pretty long, guys, and I apologize for that, so I'm definitely trying to make my videos shorter. However, when I do have to address all the points and make my argument as full a body as possible, because there's people out there who get mad when I don't do that, I ha I'm forced to make a long video, so sorry. I know one thing that didn't change at all from this entire encounter with speaking with you, Christian, and with addressing your comments is that you are definitely a pussy. If you want to leave negative comments, that's fine by me. I actually encourage it. Please tell me when I'm wrong. I like to learn new things, but at least have the balls to leave the comments up. All right, so there's another comment here by Jordan Mays. You're just giving him more views and thus said more money, loser. Oh, good eyes, Jordan Mays. Maybe I'm working for him. Maybe it's all part of me and POG's glorious master plan. And I do appreciate you guys sticking up for me in the comment sections there as well, but that's completely ridiculous. I'm a YouTuber. I'm making videos for the sake of making videos. I find this very entertaining. I find it entertaining to find things online and talk about them. Who cares? Saif Ul Hassan, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. His comment, you fucking spelled McLaren wrong, stupid. I'm disliking. Well, I'm sorry. I'm glad that you're gonna go ahead and dislike. As a matter of fact, Congratulations! Work so hard for a guy to vacation. Good for you. Just like all you want. So the cream of the crop for comments right here comes from N Nagati. I'm, I'm guessing it's pronounced Nagati. Bear with me, guys, because it's written very, very poorly. Men, when a racing team have race or are training for a race, car commuter can register every move and what when speed everything is registers live into the computer. And so using a script, you can transform it into an Xbox controller, a little bit like gaming wheels. So all you are saying is shit and only thing you are trying to do is to boost it in views from another YouTuber because your shit, because your shit one that is not even interesting and little you like old German saying like a Jew that is also a little bit jealous of what he has and really you could not even research what the fuck is in the engine bay of Lamborghini Aventador car computer you total idiot and really get a job not do not do shit video on YouTube which you think is funny and we can see that little knowledge about could help you make really good video and like 60% is totally talking about what he has and also I love how you say snarky rich French guy really shut you and get a job ooh sorry I have forgot you little kid I forgot you little kid that don't even finish school and you're telling him his a snarky 
rich French guy. Just because he made himself a lot of money and made himself cool and interesting video and you total like a Jew just because he has money and as I said get a job and do something that could actual make you rich not do fucking YouTube shit quality videos. Okay, so that is a lot for me to break down. However, I could be a dick and literally just go through and correct your grammar, Nagati, but I'm not going to do that because that wouldn't be very interesting, fun, or entertaining. However, I am going to try to put periods where they're supposed to be in this paragraph and actually address what you have to say. Men when a racing team have racing or training for a race car commuter can register every move, what speed is everything, and registers into a computer. So using a script, you could transform it into an Xbox controller, a little bit like gaming wheels, so all you're saying is shit and trying to do get boosted views from another YouTuber. Okay. I, ca I can't understand what you're saying, dude. I have racing training, racing commuter. Okay, I don't know what that is. I tried Googling that. I can't find it. However, what you're saying is that there's some type of computer chip or something that can register the car's movement and speed and its track time back to a computer okay that is true but those tracks are pre-recorded if you know anything about driving a car on a track those tracks are pre-recorded and it gives things like g-force it gives things like average speed it gives things like um, zero to 60 times zero to 100 times cornering times and things like that it doesn't account for the degree that the wheel is turned it doesn't account for how fast or how much of the gas you're pushing you're pushing down these cars are not programmed as drive by wire not yet because they're not legally programmed they're all still analog in that sense there have been some advances in drive by wire but it's not really there yet so debunked debunked but let's go ahead and, and, and assume that this was possible, that a Lamborghini Aventador, since I don't have one, since I'm so jealous, a Lamborghini Aventador does have a drive-by wire. Let's assume that for one second. Let's still address the lag issue. You're saying it's very similar to an Xbox controller or gaming wheels. That's not the case, my guy. If you look up, just on PCs alone, if you look up the lag that people are experiencing with legitimate racing wheels, people are still having lag issues. It's not 100% in sync. So, you need to tell me that POG is so much of a genius that he was able to program this and have it synced up so well that it works as if it was better than a racing wheel? These people who have spent millions of dollars in R&D in order to get these, these wheels as realistic as possible? You need to tell me that some guy did this in his garage. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and give him that. Let's say he did do this. Where's the code? I asked you last time, POG, release the code on GitHub. Give us the code so we can use this. It's really cool, really fun. Let us all do this. You said that you have a script that you wrote for it, or at least this guy says you do. He's dick right enough to, to, to vouch for you here. You have a script, release it. Let's go ahead and talk about the next point. You say, the only thing I can do is talk shit so I can get boost, boosted views from another YouTuber. That's really funny that you would even call POG a YouTuber. He's not a YouTuber. That would be a disservice to every other legitimate YouTuber out there. And I'm not saying me, but let's just say that I release videos on a regular basis and I call myself a YouTuber. I make my income and my living off of YouTube. Well, that's a disservice to them because POG just uses YouTube as a platform to promote his Instagram. If you look at his channel, POG releases videos once every month, once every other month or so, just to kind of direct traffic and interest and garner attention back to his Instagram. So he's not a YouTuber. So stop. And yes, it does. It did boost my views a little bit, but I don't care. I'm doing it because there's something that I wanted to talk about. I'm tired of people being sheepish. I'm tired of people just following the flock. That's exactly what the point of this video was. This next point, because your shit one is not even interesting. And like little old German saying like a Jew, that also is a little bit jealous of what he really has. Okay. Um, I don't know why you're mentioning Jews so many times. I don't know why you're comparing me to a German. Um, I'm not jealous of what he has. I'm really glad that he has what he has. You can do whatever you want with what you have, POG. I'm not jealous of what you have. I have my life. You have yours. Also, um, let's just go ahead and say this. You guys don't, you have, since haven't seen my face yet, guys, and I know that. But um, look at POG. Why would I be jealous of that? Dude looks like Tyrion Lannister with Down syndrome. Dude is not a very good looking guy. And money is something that can be earned. You can move in and out of the one person. You can move in and out of riches your entire life. But the way you look at the root can't be changed. Sure, you can get plastic surgery. Sure, you can get your face altered. But you still look a fucking hot mess. I'd rather look the way I look right now and be poor as shit than have all the money in the world and look like that. Really, you couldn't even research what the fuck is in the engine bay of a Lamborghini Aventador. Car computer, you total idiot. Okay. 
a period goes there by the way nagati but let's go ahead and talk about this let's go ahead and talk about this there was someone else who hit me up in the comment section before Hmm, his name was Zeus WRX. You guys can see my comments to Zeus WRX if you go ahead and look at the original video. And Zeus tried to tell me that where the battery was located on, an, on a Lamborghini. And just like you, he didn't do any research before hitting me, hitting me up in the comment section after t telling me that I should have done research. Okay. Zeus said, you spelled McLaren wrong. Also, the cables are going to the engine bay because the battery is in the engine bay. Oh, Zeus, you're so smart. Okay, Zeus. But the battery for the Ventador is not typically located in an engine bay either. If you will go ahead and check out the Lamborghini owner forms here at Lamborghini-talk.com that you can see clearly. And I'm not saying that this is impossible for his battery to be located there. It's just not typical. So it begs the question again, why the fuck are there so many damn cables going into the engine bay? Well, you know, Nagatsi says it's because that's where the computer is. Well, I think what you mean when you say the computer, I think you mean the ECU, okay? And that's the electronic control unit, right? That's the, that's the race car computer i think you're talking about that is the cpu chip that is located that is inside a lamborghini however however it's not located in engine bay that doesn't make sense for it to be located there as the engine bay would be very very hot and you don't want to keep your cpu that hot or any type of electronics for that matter if you go right back to the same exact fucking website you wouldn't look like a fucking total idiot nagati you wouldn't look like a fucking idiot go to the same exact website it takes two seconds to google search this it says according to LamborghiniForms.com, that the ECU is located behind the driver's seat, nowhere near the engine bay. There you go, debunked again, and you told me to do research. Do your research next time before sliding into my comment section, okay, buddy? You're a total idiot, and really, get a job, not do shit video on YouTube, which you think is funny. Okay, what if I told you that me having an opinion on the internet is my job? What if I told you, Nagati, that I'm a full-time writer? What if I told you that this is what I do for a living? I debunk things, I research things, I write about things, I talk about things that interest me, and I get paid for it. What if I told you that frying little bitches like you on the internet gets me paid? Boy, if you come at me again like this, I'll probably have to fix your disorder for you, okay? Seriously, I'll probably knock some sense into your head, boy. Stay out of my comment section if you want to write like this. Stay out of my comment section if you want to keep coming at me like this. And if you want to come into my comment section and have constructive criticism, by the way, use Grammarly next time, my guy, okay? That shit helps fix some of this, these issues that you have going here. You don't know where periods go. You don't know how to capitalize. You don't know how to write a concise sentence. And I give it to you that maybe English is not your first language. But at least a fucking Down syndrome kid can do this. Also, you say my shit videos. Okay, I have people who like my videos, okay? I don't care what your opinion is, Nagati. If you have a negative opinion about my channel, I'm going to dab on them haters. Dabbing on them haters. I'm dabbing on you right now. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm dabbing on you. So, I don't care. With a little knowledge, it can help you make really good videos. Okay. Yes, that's true. Research does help make a better video. However, you didn't research before hitting me up, at, and you're probably one of those dick writers who just absolutely believe everything that you see when you saw his video. You saw PLG's video. You said, this is really cool. This guy's a genius. Oh my God. How did he do this? And you didn't actually really question, how did he do this? Is it possible at all? Did you even think about that for a second? Did you try to research it? You didn't. I did. It's not possible. Not in your garage. And not even if you are a programming genius, not just on its own. You're going to need more than a computer, an Xbox, and your Lamborghini. You're going to need a lot of R&D, my guy. You're going to need to rewire your Lamborghini to drive by wire. You're going to have to do a lot of things. It doesn't work this way. It wasn't built for that. It was meant to drive. It's a mechanical machine. You said like 60% is totally talking about what he has. Also, I love how you say snarky, rich, French guy. Really, shut up and get a job. Oh, sorry, I forgot your little kid who didn't even finish school. Okay, so the first part of that, you said 60% is totally talking about what he has. That's hilarious that you say that because I went back in my video and I went and I totaled it up. Totaled up all the times I mentioned what he had, all the times I made a remark about how he treats his things, how many times I made a remark about, oh my God, you know, I guess he's rich enough, he can afford it, blah, blah, blah. It's about five minutes. If you were to line it up from beginning to end, it's about five minutes of me talking about what he has. That's less than 20% of the overall video. And you say that I didn't finish school. Well, Judging by your percentage here, the way you converted your percentage here, you need school, my guy. First, you have the writing issue, bruv. Listen, you have the writing issue where you come at me, no periods, no punctuation, the huge, like the, the most gigantic run on sentences I've ever seen in my entire life. And now you have an issue with math. I hate to see what else is wrong with you, Nagati. Really? All right, so there's another comment here. It's by Melissa Leitz. She says, why the hell are you so mad about it, dude? Like, why go off on a 20-minute rant about someone making a video? Well, 
I'm mad because it's people like you, Melissa Leeds, who are sheep. Would it kill you to have an opinion? Would it kill you to think for once in your life? You're probably one of those girls who own an iPhone, drink pumpkin spice lattes, and wear Ugg boots. You probably love NSYNC, Adele, and Beyonce. You have nothing about you that is unique or original. Your entire life is a carbon copy of someone else's. You're a follower at heart and it is your sole passion to be as bland and as boring as possible in every single way. Let's go ahead and take a look at your channel, Melissa. Let's go ahead because you have some videos posted. I'm, I'm really glad you did this. You have some videos about your child. You have some videos about your life. Boring. Boring, Melissa. Have an opinion for once. Be bold. Stand out. But instead, you want to sit back and drink pumpkin spice lattes, wear your Ugg boots, and then comment as to why my video is so long. Well, see, what you fail to realize here, Melissa, is that I am a YouTuber. I'm an opinionated asshole. I'm a troll. I make videos on interesting things, and I can take all day on a video if I want to. I hope this response serves to you as a reminder to never cross someone who actually has character, Melissa. Melissa actually has a personality, okay? Live a diverse life, Melissa. Try to be so gullible and overall basic. All right, guys, that's it for me. That's all the time we have for today. Remember that POG is a liar and makes fake videos. Uh, I will keep saying that until he releases his code on GitHub. It's that simple. So yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. I also apologize for being so ridiculously cancerous in this video, but some of these guys really had it coming. Like, I'm sorry. I had to go in. I, like I said, guys, I, I am sorry. I, I, this is not typical of my content. I'm not this cancerous. I'm not this toxic. I'm not this bad of a guy. Um, I sometimes try to make my videos as, as light and as educational as possible and try to have a little goof every now and then, try to have some fun. But yeah. Also want to go ahead and invite you guys to go ahead and tongue punch that dislike button and roast me in the comment section below. Because, you know, like always, you guys will never learn that I will roast you back. And lastly, check out the previous video on POG if you haven't seen it. I feel like I, I couldn't do a diss track this time around, guys, simply because of the fact of time, but also more so because I really had to address each individual person, like, straight on, you know, so that way people can't say that I didn't I didn't say anything. And, you know, also, if you guys are bored with your Thanksgiving break or whatever it is that you're doing, I suggest browsing my channel for any videos you may have missed. Once again, my name is Neriku, a.k.a. Thief. He is here, and I will see each and every one of you sexy AF mofos in the next video. Peace.